It's Friday, time for another weekly update. This past Sunday, I attended the ceremony for Gold Star mothers and families at the historic Ramsey House. Also this week, I spoke at the Mental Health America's B4 Stage 4 luncheon, helped cut the ribbon at the Lantern at Morning Point Powell, which is their new memory care facility, and attended the Farragut West Knox Chamber of Commerce's auction and charity gala. Crews will begin renovations at the Carl Cowan Park Splash Pad next week and hopefully we'll have everything back up and running prior to the 2023 season. In the meantime, all the other amenities at the park are still open. We're launching our second round of community input for the Advanced Knox Initiative next week and we'll be hosting in-person workshops at the new Hopewell Elementary School from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. this Sunday then at Gresham Middle School from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Monday, October 3rd, and also at Cedar Bluff Middle School on October 4th, Tuesday, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Sure would like to see you there. This month's Employees of the Month are Brian Hobbs from Procurement and Camelia Alameda from the Health Department. Congratulations to the Tennessee football team who had a big win over Florida on Saturday. Speaking of Florida, Governor Lee has authorized the deployment of roughly 1,200 soldiers and airmen from the Tennessee National Guard to support response and recovery efforts for Hurricane Ian. Thanks to our guardsmen and women for all they do during natural disasters and other emergencies. In case you missed it, John Cena of WWE fame has set the record for most wishes granted through the Make-A-Wish Foundation with 650 wishes granted. Make-A-Wish helps fulfill the wishes of gravely or terminally ill children. Nice work, John. This week's Eat and Greet was at Matthew's Deli. Next Friday, I'll be at Balter Beer Works at 1130. Please join me. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.